WBCF, welcome to another Fitness Friday video. You've made it through another week, and this week we are gonna talk about a topic that I have been asked a lot about, especially lately, and that is butterfly pull-ups. Today we are going to cover the butterfly pull-up. I am gonna teach you the way that I like to teach it. Um, in my opinion, there's kind of two real ways to talk about it. One is from the bottom up, so working from kind of that reverse bicycle kick. Um, and then going up the chain as we go. Um, I personally like to teach from the bar down. Um, so we are going to get right into it. Um, just like uh, a while back we talked about the toast to bar, everything in the gymnastics realm of CrossFit, any gymnastics movement, especially on the pull bar, will start from that kip swing. So if we have not mastered that kip swing, just gonna go over it a little bit now. Um, that kip swing starts from the shoulders, and then it looks like we have a little hip contraction. We really don't. Everything is from the shoulders. So jump it up in that bar, nice dead hang, push back and through that window. Everything is going to start here. Now, from there, if you feel very confident, things look good, things look pretty, what I want you to think about is when we do a butterfly pull up, that motion, again, is generally through our shoulders. I want you to think about the shoulders before we think about the lower body because in time, the lower body will come. So when we're up on that bar, what I want you to think about is similar to the reverse bicycle kick. I want you to think about small ovals that we build with those arms. So if you were to um, do, honestly, the assault bike, fantastic uh, way to think about this. Those arms kind of go in a circular motion, not so much circular as linear, but that's kind of the same drive we want to think about, except it is a pull down. Um, just like on the rower, we pull here, same thing, gonna happen a little bit higher. Um, so we're gonna jump up on that bar, nice kip swing. From that kip swing, I'm going to slowly build a circle with my arms. until I'm all the way in that butterfly pull-up. After that, we can start talking about the lower body, but today is not that day. If you struggle with it from just the pull-up bar full weight, you kind of get that very clunky, very hard drop down. Totally okay. Um, we are gonna take some weight off in a um, different progression. The other thing that can happen that I really want to get away from is our elbows. When we let our elbows get real wide and out to the sides of our body when we pull, we put our shoulder in a bad position. I want to avoid that. So if that is something that you experience, let's get away from that. We'll cover that here as well. On this progression, what I want you to grab, you may need a box, stool, a bunch of plates, doesn't matter. For me, it is a box and a 15 pound plate, so I'm going to roll that out. So our setup here, when I go on my tippy toes, my chin should be just above the bar, right at the bar. Height doesn't matter here. We're not really looking for uh, specific movement standards. But on my tippy toes, I'm pretty much over the bar in the top of that pull-up. Talking about the elbows that we just talked about, that top position should be right here. My elbows are in front of me. I'm stacked. I've got a nice, almost front racking type position. I am not wide here and flaring my elbows out, my chest big and in front of me. So elbows down, slightly in front, that is our position. Now, for this progression, we're gonna take some of that weight off. So I want you to be in your tiptoes, a little bit of weight in my uh, legs, um, as little as possible. From here, we're gonna build that kip swing through our shoulders. Doesn't matter that my lower body's in a different position because everything's through the shoulder. And then we're going to build that oval using my legs if I need to. This way I can control the down and work on that cycle. Now, when we pull up, we push back and then we pull through. Uh, just like that toaster bar, you remember how we push back to get ourselves more space? 
Same thing on the butterfly pull-up. I am going to start, I'm gonna push myself back, pull, chin here, slides under the bar. I come out to that anti-hollow body position. Remember what we were talking about earlier, everything's from there. Push back, pull through, and that is the motion. It's very oval shaped, not up and down and not back and forth like that kip pull up. If you have questions, um, you most likely do. It may not feel quite right. This is a perfect time to set up a personal training session. And I know that I'm kind of pushing my own agenda here, uh, but any of the coaches, Jamie teaches a butterfly pull up a little bit differently than I do. She would be a fantastic resource if things aren't clicking here. Um, but set up that 30 minute personal training session. It's not only gonna really benefit you, but it is very cost and time effective. And it lets us help you specifically break down the way that your body moves to help build these positions and tactilely help you on each position. Now, um, that is actually it for the day. So uh, with that, I will bid you adieu. Have a fantastic weekend and uh, try those butterfly pull-ups out. All right.